Now, what about finding common political ground? And joining us is the Republican strategist Jeanette Hoffman and the Democrat chairman, in fact, of the Monmouth County Democratic Party, Vin Gopal. You are here with us today listening to the governor, listening to the Democratic response. We've had time to digest some of what's going on. Were you, were you surprised about the pension thing as well? The leadership certainly seemed to be. Well, you know, it makes sense. Certainly, maybe there wasn't a briefing beforehand, but I think it makes sense. Governor Christie has established himself during his past four years in office as a bipartisan reformer. He tackled pension and benefit reform in the very beginning of his tenure, and it doesn't surprise me that he's going back to it, because as he said, you know, we need to make the right choices, and we can't afford to do anything. But it was kind of like, hey, you know, all these wonderful things we can do, but you know what? We gotta go back and take care of the pensions again, and your party certainly seems to want, I mean, it's dead on arrival as far as they're concerned, right? Yeah, uh, first of all, it's very surprising that the governor wouldn't tell his own party leadership. To hear John Bramick say this is the first he's hearing of it, that's a whole different problem that the governor has. But you know, to the credit of Governor Florida, the, the, the pension system, uh, he was the last governor to fully fund the pension system. Every governor since then has not, and, and uh, this is an issue of fiscal responsibility, and Senator Sweeney's doing the right thing. But it's not without predicate around the country. We've heard from an awful lot of people saying, you know, they, they've called it the pension time bomb. And in many cases, we don't want to steal money away from people that have been putting money in, but from a taxpayer standpoint, it may not be sustainable in some cases, right? Well, look, this is not the fault of the people that put, were putting the money into the pension. This is the state's fault. They've been doing this the last couple of years, so we have to look at different alternatives here. From a, from a private industry, the governor was talking much about the growth yeah. in the state in terms of jobs, but people still say Jersey's lagging behind neighboring states. Yeah, well, let's not forget, Mike, four years ago, this state was on the brink of bankruptcy. Under Governor Christie's leadership, we've created hundreds of thousands of jobs, just 70,000 in the past year alone. Unemployment is at the lowest rate in five years. Do we need to do more? Yes. And that's why the governor's talking about tax reform. He's talking about property tax reform. And he's talking about ideas that will energize our economy versus raising taxes like the Democrats want to do with the millionaire's tax every year. Uh, the, the whole idea of doing more education, longer school years. Mm -hmm. A teachers union says, well, we're really interested in that, but this is a governor who vetoed the study of the uh, pre-K, and he's been, he's been say, dubious of pre-K programs in the past as well. How do you reconcile those things? Well, I think this is more, the uh, governor's talking about more comprehensive education reform. Look, he said that we've had the same education system for the past hundred years, which, you know, it makes sense that we need to revamp that and, you know, tr uh, times are changing. Uh, you know, this bill is actually Assemblyman Whip Wilson's bill to uh, extend the school day. So it's one of those ways in which Governor Christie is going to be working together with Democrats to really take charge of education reform. He has taken charge of education in Newark. He has taken charge of education in Camden. Both of the superintendents uh, appointed by the Christie administration in those districts were there today. They were called upon by the governor, stood up, got applause as well. Are you comfortable with the direction that the governor wants to take education uh, with the way they have already with the state uh, running not, things? Not at all. And, and you know, to that point, you, you look at the governor, it wasn't long ago, he called pre-K babysitting. Um, and now there's a lot of questions. The hours of teachers who are already not going to be paid well, there's a lot of uh, questions. That, not saying that the proposal might not ultimately be what everyone agrees on, but there's a lot of quite more questions than answers. From what you heard at the top of the speech, did the governor do enough to address the whole bridge controversy issue today? Uh, obviously, um, there wasn't really an apology today, but there was an explanation and a taking of responsibility. Did, did he mention it? I don't think I heard him mention it. Well, there was, yeah. <laughs> he did. He did at the top of his speech. Well, well, I mean, the the thing that jumped out at all of us here when we heard it come in was that he'll cooperate with any appropriate investigation. What do you make of that? Look, there, there are so many questions. I, I don't know anyone that's satisfied with what they've heard. We have two very bad scenarios. One, um, the people around the governor misled him, and that talks about his judgment. Uh, that, that could be a, a serious issue. But at the end of the day, we, all those emails are, are redacted. We don't know uh, a, lot of, a lot of answers. Redactions lingering in your imagination as well? You, you bothered by those? Well, I think, look, Governor Christie spent two hours last week apologizing, answering questions, all the questions that he could answer from reporters. It's going to play out. We're going to see, you know, what the legislative panel is fine. But I'm, I feel very comfortable with the way the governor addressed this with his strong leadership. You don't think he's been weakened by any of this politically? Well, if you look at the polls, I mean, it's, it's kind of like a blip on the radar screen. Well, you it's know. a six-point drop in the last month, according to the Monmouth poll. Yeah, he's still at 59 percent, though. And if you look at the Pew Research Center poll that came out nationally, people aren't paying attention to this. They're paying more attention to the economy, cold weather, you know, unemployment insurance. I think, you know, look, scandals, people are going to get tired of them presidential election is in 2016. That's two years and that's a lifetime in politics. A lifetime of politics, which could be a week, could be an hour, 
You never know what lifetimes are <laughs> these days. Thank you to both of you for being with us all. Long day, and we appreciate Thanks. your insight Thanks. and your expertise on this. Uh, and we also appreciate your input as well. Our, our social media sites, Facebook and Twitter, are up and actively soliciting what you have to say and what you think about this. Uh, our question right now, of course, is what do you think of Governor Christie's plan to lengthen the school day and the school year? Uh, the teachers' union has sounded off on some of that as well. Uh, we would like to hear very much what you have to say, and we will be reporting it on the air uh, tomorrow.